and uh, she's now finished her Masters in Nuclear Physics and she joins us now via Skype from Cape Town. Thanks so much indeed for joining us. I hope we brought back some memories for you, but uh, congratulations on your uh, Masters, PhD on the way. Uh, are you living your dream at the moment? Yes, I, I am living in the dream because uh, my dream is for, to inspire more young people in Africa and in South Africa. So most of young people from disadvantaged communities, they are relating, they are relating to me at this moment. So I'm very happy that I can I could inspire young people. I receive a lot of inbox from Facebook, Twitter, lot of young people across the globe and they're saying they are inspired by my story, by my strength and by my braveness. All right. So we're gonna talk a little so bit I'm about happy. The, Yeah, we're gonna talk a little bit about uh, who you've inspired over time. But let's take you back to your time at CERN because that was a huge achievement. A very few people get the opportunity to go there and you were part of this uh, a first Africa led experiment and you were the only woman as well. So tell us about that ex experience. It's, it's a, it was an amazing experience and it also was a learning curve for me because in terms of education, scientists at, from Switzerland, they are, they are very advanced from us. So we were, we were so inspired by them and also it also motivated us because we were running the experiments by our own. No one was telling us or showing us we have to be prepared. So our supervisor ensured that he prepared us before we, we went to set. So yeah, it was so amazing to be there. And I felt like we have break the barrier post because almost everyone from the group is from this advantage institution, from Fort Hare, from Unizulu, from UWC. UWC is still a developing institution. So it was a very great opportunity for us, all of us as a group. All right, so, you know, I'm going to ask you this because uh, we hear the name often nuclear scientist. And I wonder, what does a nuclear scientist do? <laughs> do, you, do you remember an, uh, an atom, an atom with an electron, yes. and then you will shake something inside and you say, this is your nucleus. Yes. Your nucleus consists of the neutrons, the neutrons they are neutral which means they are not charged and then it also has the proton the protons they are charged so however there is a strong interaction that happened between the protons and the neutrons so we believe as nuclear scientists that there is a strong force that holding this particle together the other one is neutral it's very very strange because the other one is neutral and the other one is charged what is holding this particles together. So what we're studying as nuclear scientists, especially from the nuclear structure side, we're trying to understand these interactions that happen inside the nuclear for the, the nucleus, I mean. All right. So and it's still under research because um, until this date no one knows the formula of the nuclear force. So what was the, what brought you into that? What why nuclear science? What fascinated you? So while I was doing grade eight, my geography teacher, Mr. Zikobu, introduced us to the astronomy, astronom, astronom, are those people who travel to space. So I was so fascinated and out of curiosity that today we have almost nine planets. Wow, how does it happen? Because for me, the Earth is flat. However, when you're studying geography, they're telling you the Earth is a round shape. And how can it be possible be? So out of, out of curiosity, I fell in love with science. And again, there are few women in this field. So I wanted to break the barrier for this woman, for, for women in this field. And I wanted to be the first African woman to travel to space. Unfortunately, 2003, Mark Shakuet beat me to <laughs> edge. <laughs> All right. So, so it have <laughs> OK, so there are so few women in there. Is that why you started the Senamile Masango Foundation in 2014? Yeah. Yes, that is why I started Senamile Masamo Foundation 2014, so that I can inspire other women because girls are discouraged at the early age not to take science subject. And as a country, we are not doing well in science and mathematics. So I want to I want to inspire them. I want them to relate with me, especially for those who are attending a no zero fee schools, government school per se. Because I'm also completed my matric in the government school and I also 
that my undergrad at the University of Zululand, of which is, is rated as a disadvantaged institution. So I would love to inspire young people. There is Senamile from Guanongoma. He has just made it. Here yeah. I am in the <laughs> University of the Western Cape in Cape Town, one of the biggest cities in Africa. So I want them to be inspired by my story. And again, while I was doing my undergrad, I had no role model. Yeah. I made a lot of mistakes. I wish I had a role model that someone would say, Senamile, you must do this, you must do that, you must be aware of that. And again, to be honest, physics is not easy. It's yeah. it's a very challenging subject. So as women, we are very emotionally. I wish that I had someone that I can relate to and someone that I can cry to. Someone will advise me. Someone will explain things in me. So I never had that person. So yeah. I want to be there for young people from disadvantaged communities. All right. And so perhaps as a final question, so your master's is done, PhD on the way. What's the next <laughs> chapter? <laughs> in your life i mean you're gonna to get to space i have no doubt about that <laughs> yes of course i'm going to space and i will venture into business i'm passionate about climate and energy since we're having an energy problem because i strongly believe that science is something that we can use to solve our problem here is an opportunity in africa and energy is a global issue so why can't i contribute <clears throat> with the knowledge or with the research that with, with the information that I have so that I, I, we can solve this problem because at the end of the day it's science is to solve our own problem so I will branch into business for sure. Sena Miller, thanks so much indeed for uh, talking to us. Congratulations on your uh, achievements so far and we certainly look forward to the next chapters as they unfold. Thank you so much indeed uh, for inspiring our young women. Thank you. Thank you so much. All right. Okay, so that was uh, Sanamila Masango, who's a nuclear scientist, uh, just got her master's, uh, come louder, and uh, she's working on a PhD, and I think this is a lady that you'll hear a lot more about in the future. All right, coming up for the world of sport, and Yevon is standing by.